Welcome back to Capital of Industry. My name is Niels, and we are going to continue this series. And uh, I think there's a that there's a few more things that I think are really interesting to get, dive into that are sort of unique to this game, and also just illustrate how we can sort of tech up and uh, manage our logistics. So today we'll be focused very much on the logistics, uh, and there is a tech here we're working on, Advanced Logistics Control which will be super handy and uh, allows us a bit more control about where the trucks are going, which is super nice. And we'll also be tacking up and working on steel and then the next construction parts, level three. So we have our, this is our construction parts of one and two. So that's a lot of things that we want to do and it's gonna be a big, uh, a big thing to cover because everything in the base has to be sort of uh, adapted to the new logistics control. What I um, also want to do is of course, now that we have the ship and we have it out there, we are going to see if there's anything out in the world that we need to do with the ship to uh, get going. I also want to establish a here, start repairs for this one. Let's uh, get out there and get some repairs for the oil rig so we can build an oil rig as well. I have one ship, a uh, repaired cargo ship, and I think this one I can also get another in here for repairing the cargo ship. That will be a good thing we want to go out with that. So as we uh, get started on this episode, then uh, let me just thank everyone for uh, supporting, liking, all that good stuff. I really appreciate it and it's the reason why I am continuing this series because uh, as much as it is uh, nice to just play the game for myself, it is also something that I should always evaluate whether I should put it on my YouTube channel. And uh, with the support, then it makes sense. So thank you very much for your ongoing support and I hope that will continue because that's how I decide what I do around here on this channel. So we are going to build a steel facility up here and I want to, since we have two locations with iron, then I want to start on this one instead so we can build this part. I think that's a good idea. Um, let's build it over here, for example. It's just, it doesn't really matter much where it is. Uh, we'll be quick delivering, yeah, we'll be okay. And let's get it out here. That's not gonna be a good place. Let's build it from here then. Oops. Edit area. There, that's a good place. And we want to go to our facility here. We want to get a few of these. I'm going to take that and then, yeah, that's going to be started working. And I will see this line probably go up quite drastically. So what it is we want to do, let's have a look at the steel production. Let's also look at it to begin. This is, no, 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 no. This one, the cool caster is how we make steel. So that takes some steel, molten steel, and makes it into stole, mol, into steel ingots by adding water. Okay, pretty simple. 12 in 60 seconds, okay. And over here we have the oxygen furnace that is also 12 in 60 seconds, but it consumes 24. So 24 iron into 12 steel. Well, that sounds familiar. And then we go here. This one will be producing 24 ingots, uh, 24 molten iron, so it's one a blast furnace into one oxygen furnace into one cool caster. So that's a pretty straightforward build. And I think I'll build it down here. There should be enough space for it. So let's uh, just try building it. I'm going to build it at size two because, well, I think that's a good place. And I'm going to build two of those. One, two, three. I think that's a good spacing as well. Now I want to make sure that I have this part outbound and I want to, I don't think I want to build this even bigger than this. So I think I'm going to do something that I didn't do before. And that's actually uh, dragging it this way because I'm going to do something clever as well for some other things. Um, yeah, maybe I don't want to go, the, maybe I don't want to go this way. Yeah. Let's, let's, let's do it the other way. Let's try and see if I can figure that out if I do it this way. One, one, two, three, and we remove this. So that will now go into a, a cool caster. No, 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 an oxygen furnace. So you can see this one has more stuff as well, as well that we have to deal with. And let's give it a bit of a breathing space here. Uh, it's gonna go directly in. This one here is here. And then I'm going to go into the cooled caster. That will be, let's also give it some space. There's no reason to make it too close. And then we've built the logistics. We're going to start with the molten shells because they are the ones that sort of the main line. And therefore I will have these as ground level. Good. 
and I will be taking the output into a steel output. I'll build that here. Uh, there's nothing else outbound here, so it's just build it close. That one will be steel. We have it here. And I will be getting, uh, let's see, the flight conveyors. Wow, that was not the way I wanted it. It does take a bit of getting used to this way of, of doing belts, but it actually is okay. Complete logistics, perfect. And here I will now get some uh, other storage inbound. That will be the loose storage here. I'll get one in here and I'll get another one in here. One will be, this will be the iron parts and I will actually let's do this immediately so we get these built up. And then just hope that they're done. Correctly, I will get one in here and then two here. Oh, they are not done. So I will get, let's do the equal one here, uh, this level. Actually, let's start by taking the stuff that's closest so it has shorter path to go. And I will get my U-shaped from here. In. In. This one goes one up. Good, now that's done. These, inbound, inbound, good. And then we want to go to the next pipe. I have pipe stuff out here and I have pipe stuff out here. So I think I want to deal with this part first. That goes, yeah, I want to go to this side. The reason why I want to go that side is, come on. Uh, is because I want to, at this point, actually uh, unload here. This will be slag. I want to unload the slag and then put it into this location here. But that's something we're going to do afterwards. Advanced logistics. Nope, we don't need a tutorial. I will be your tutorial today, so don't you worry. And I will get up here. Nope, that's not going to work. Oh, please. This is not working, is it? Maybe. Oops, the last one is not good. No good. What? Okay, yeah, I don't like this. I don't like it one bit. I don't think it's close enough. If I bring it up here. And let's do this because then I, if I take this, I don't think it, it'll get there. Here and then go up and then it won't connect because it's joining on a ramp. All right. Good thing we uh, didn't build all of this. I am just going to uh, move it and then uh, hook this up and we can start over again. All right. So now it's built and... Yeah, lots of uh, spaghetti here, but it's actually okay. So what do we have here? Let's do the that one so we can see what's coming in up. So we get the iron coming in and that goes into these two. They take 27 each. They will be need to a recipe. That will give us some slag. Slag goes out here, which needs to be emptied as fast as possible. Then I also have, do I have stuff here? Uh, I have one and then there. I think that's, oh, that's definitely too much especially with what we're going to do soon. So this uh, this comes here. This is the liquid molten iron. Molten iron comes in here, adds from the air separator some oxygen. It gets 24. This gets 12 per 60 seconds plus 12, so it's a good balance. And the nitrogen just goes into this vent where it gets uh, fumed or smoke stacked. This is, uh, all of these have exhaust, 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 and they are all 12 per second. So that gives us a 48 in total, and this would be easily what the belt can handle, and also what this one can handle as well. Moving further, then they, I see one thing we're missing. We're missing that direct line here. We are getting the oxygen in here, and on the other side, we're getting water in here, together with the 12 molten steel, gives us some steel plates as well. And the water comes over here. We have now looked at this line so i will need to get a 
Uh, a groundwater pump somewhere over here. I know that groundwater pump is sort of a uh, short-term solution. Uh, but, you know, it's still a solution, so. I don't think that a lot of, like, no, um, how to say it? I think there are a lot of things that you can kind of fix early, but if you fix it early, you spend too much effort on fixing it. And that's kind of what I feel with these kind of things. So, do we have, let's get this one out. Do we have things coming in? Not really anything super oh that's also because we're not uh, moving we need to go to move in speed two and then i will be supporting what you should be mindful of this is that some of the middle ones here they will just not be able to be built because they are locked in we have 80 something uh, 60 something uh, here so we can just go absolutely crazy on the disconnection so let's do the inner ones first and then see how far we can get on uh, doing the instant build like these stuff here are definitely going to be problematic. And then we can sort of get this one as well. Instant deliver, instant deliver. And I don't think anything else is super important. This one doesn't have anything yet or not much at least. And then we see, what are you doing? You are digging up some iron. And then this is also now where we will, oops, where we'll see a, an interesting problem coming in. Let's uh, get all of these sorted. This is the brilliant part about having lots of unity is that you can use it to build things instantly. Also taking a load of those trucks because they will kind of get overburned. Oh, right, this is important. I built an extra little teeny tiny one in here. Yeah, that's important. So you should be working. We're basically just doing everything. I don't know if there's a hotkey to do all of this uh, manually or automatically. There we go built that one and we are seeing stuff coming in oh yeah let's uh, also make sure that this gets built oh wow that costs 100 that's a lot we are definitely running out good thing we have a lot at the uh, at our facility here and lot stored let's get some water otherwise things are not working without the water Oof, that was also expensive this is being built yep and now we just need the last bits And I am going pretty crazy on the overdoing this. Yep. And, you know, I'll build two of these because why not? There. This will also be steel. And then go back and go back. Right. So also another thing that I uh, have not looked at but or have not talked about is this one. This is one we built last time. There were some problems. Namely that uh, this storage was set to neutral. And this one was set to try to empty, which meant that it would try to empty from this one in here and then it would push it back in. And there was sort of an infinite loop of awfulness. Fix that. What I've also done is over on this side and I don't, not sure 100% if it works, but we'll see. I have made this splitter, which says prioritizes the product output mark X. I'm going to go to cinema mode here. That one is the X mode. So it should be prioritizing. But as you can see, there was a, just a little glip going in there. And I do not like it. I don't think it works the way that I want it to work. But I mean, yes, if all of these are full, but then it might be okay that it pushes something in there. But there is a chance that it's, it can stop. But I'm going to try this. And I've just moved it out and put this one in here. And then we'll see if it works. Just basically let it run. And if it continues to work, then it's continued to work. Another consideration that was uh, highlighted about this one is the fact that it is going to run out when uh, if I have too much rubber then this one will stop or if I have too much oil then uh, this one will also stop so it's it's kind of you kind of have to manage the inputs and outputs but now let's highlight the biggest issue we have right now with our build so we have now iron being mined here and being requested here we've also iron mined up here and being requested here so you'd high kind of hope that this one goes in here and the other one goes to the other one but is that what is happening it's probably not i don't know what you're going you're just it's probably not i i can't guarantee that it is and that's why we need the part that's called oh hold on eight maintenance maintenance two is that what i want uh yeah okay so that's a better maintenance oh this is steel recipe for maintenance yeah we're not there yet and let's get some other things that one i want as well mix it too and that and that and then this will be the last thing we can actually do 
Right, so what we have the issue is that I can't control whether the iron ore from here goes to the steel and the steel goes to here. But that's where the advanced logistics comes in. So what I'm going to do is I am going to say this one will be mining, uh, mining some coal. No, here, this part, I'm going to use this as a signed route and then mark it to that one. What does that do? Well, that tells me that anything that's mined from this location will be sent over to that one. Now, is that actually intended? Is that good? I don't really think that's the great way because these ones that are now loaded will now go all the way over there. Wouldn't it be better if they just went like really close and they just filled up some storage right here? That's close to our build, like maybe one here and one here and one there. Oops. And this will be getting some iron ore that we want to fill up. And this is also some iron ore that I want to fill up. This is then some iron ore that I want to empty. And now you go like, what are you doing? There. Because now it'll just be iterating back and forth. But the good thing is, I can actually say, you know what? Don't send it over there, but instead send it to this one and this one. So anything that is mined in this area, in this mining area, will now be, if it can, because it's iron, will go into these iron deposits. That's a good news. And now they don't have anywhere to go. This also means that as long as I have this line, then they will only go there. But it doesn't mean that if it'll only go there if it has something. You can see that as soon as this one gets built, it'll go in here. Now, what I can then do is I can then do from here as well, make a new route from this one to that one and from this one to that one. So this one is now connected. That means the only way to get stuff into this is from these two. That means it will never start taking up from the other parts, the stuff we are mining up by the steel, which is super handy. So that should help a lot on uh, the distance. What I can also do is I can also say, I want one truck always dedicated. We're going to add a few more trucks. Oh, one truck that's only going back and forth. I might even have two trucks that are only going back and forth. If I flip this radio button, then it also means that it will only be those two trucks doing it. But I don't want to do that. I will allow more trucks to do it, but I want to make sure that there are always two trucks going back and forth between this output from the mining area which means now the mining area will be much smaller. It'll be mining and these trucks that are assigned to the mining area, their role will be going from here over there and back again. But what about all the other stuff you say? Oh, that's a good question. Thank you for asking that question. Let's uh, make it even more advanced here or even more control. So I'm going to set a mining area here. And this mining area will, uh, it's not going to be a mining control. It will be a dump zone. So I will be making maybe an inland bridge over here. Is this, is this level one? Yeah, it's level one. Okay. So I guess we do. Hmm. And we are going to make a little one up, I guess. Too deep. And then go here. There. So this one is now going over here. And then I will say from this location, I'm also going to set up a route to that one. This means that anything that is dropped, anything that's mined out here that isn't iron and the iron goes over here, but anything else, I'll take these thing, these out because there's nothing to drop it off. They will now be going into this location. And that's a good way for me to control where it's located. And as you can see, it's already working. That means these trucks, they will not, when they pick up some slag or something like rocks, for example, they will no longer be going to this location, for example, or maybe some other location here or wherever. They will only be going to the closer location. Now that's going to be an issue for this one as well. I will get a lot of slag here and that'll be brought all the way to the other side. Or will it? Because I will just make something over here for no reason at all. Just basically building a little thing here and that will get some area that's actually an okay area isn't it something like this and then we'll just do some 
even thing here. There we go. Something like this. All good. And then I will link from this one. Will be assigned to here. And it will also be assigned to that one. So any iron that they pick up will go to this location. Oh no you don't. You are not allowed to do that. I just told you not to do that. Where exactly do you think you're going? Yeah. Let's let's assume that it got the the command before I issued this command here. But it's actually the the bigger problem, right? What I want to make sure is that the stuff going from here will go to that one. I will also make sure that this is connected here so that all the slag that I pick up will also go into this location. Now I could assign a truck here to just to say I will always have one truck that does the hauling from this part in here. It's kind of it's kind of interesting because you don't set up any supply and demand. You just basically say that they link together and then it'll deduce whether it is supply or demand. And you are, oh, you belong to this area. Good. There we go. So now that we can see that they are bringing it in. Great. And that should give us some steel build. And this will give us so much more flexibility in terms of it. So this one, for example, is the one that's assigned to this location. Mm, unassigned mine control. It should be actually coming over here. Why is it not? Yeah, that's actually a bit of a question. I'll just unassign it. I don't think I need it. You are now unassigned, so that's fine. It just takes a bit of time for to get rid of or to figure it out what it's supposed to do. I will also now get a much bigger mining location. Okay, this is up to level 10. Good. Could not store potatoes after harvest. Oh, no. Oh, no. That means we need more potatoes. There, more storage. Don't need to have that one being... Oh, I keep forgetting that the damn... Oh, the damn ship. Start loading for the oil rig. Damn, I wanted that one to be done. Man, I forget it. I forget it all the time. And as we have more workers, we can also ish start these again. What we're going to do is... This is going to be the oil rig. So let's start on the next project. Uh, the next project... Uh, actually, I think we have a few more things that I want to do, and I'll just uh, set some of this up. I'll just show you how exactly this works. For example, this one is limestone, and this will go only over to that one. So, you could, we could just make it in a bit more, a di different way, where we just set up, like here, limestone, limestone. This one picks up all the limestone here, and then this one tries to get rid of the limestone. Get rid of, and this one consume this is going to be assigned here and then that should be done so that means the limestone will go in here and then the rest can also say okay where do we want to build well i think we want to build a little mine control tower there over here so that we can also start making sure that we have stuff in this location so for example if you find anything that is dirt rock slag or slag crushed There, you want to go to that one. This is where things will be dropped off. And it'll still be a normal truck like that. And for example, we can also do here. This is the most important one. And we will also start working. This is now getting a longer distance. We are, this The most important thing at one is actually going to be the coal one. So I'm going to set up some coal storage here. One, two, three. Ah, we'll do three. Good. Construction. And are you done? Do you have loaded stuff? Nope, not yet. Loading required materials. This one. Undo. And then I want to get this as saying coal and demand. Copy paste would also be nice here. Coal and demand. I'll just put these in because they're important. Coal and demand. This one will now also be coal and supply. Coal and supply and quick deliver. Oh, that actually came in quickly. Right, so that means where's my mining tower? It's here. 
I will be linking that to this one, this one, this one, and also to that one. This one will get, no, it's not going to get bigger priority. Right, so what means this is going to be, they're going to be busy right now for a bit. And then, for example, the dirt part, I can also link that over. I'll remove these and then link it over to that one. So that should mean that any dirt that gets picked up will go over to that location because that's the closest one I have to unload. So I kind of control where they're going. We're also going to see this part here. These are now full of sand and that's super annoying. Because, uh, yeah, that's <laughs> I can't really get rid of the scent. So this one is linked to, I think we can do that, linked to these two as well. That will be scent. And I will go some output here for scent. And that will be uh, empty all of it. Let's go. And this one will also, this one will be sand, sand and empty this one and quick we get so much here that we uh, we can just do it so what happens now is that this is going to compete against my dedicated sand build so what i need to do is actually make my sand build as well over here this one select the product and that's going to be supply and this one will be also sand and then there, and then I'm going to put that lower priority there. So basically what I'm doing here is, is saying if you are picking up sand, because there is some sand up here we are, we are accidentally getting. So if you pick up, end up, if you end up picking some sand here, then put it into these locations. And we are then going to make sure that this priority, this sand is priority nine. So any sand that we use for the process here, where is it? There, this sand should now be coming from that one and that one before it comes from this one because this is much lower priority that's the theory at least and let's see this is now making some rock well why is the rock not going out there because rock is not uh, doesn't have any output so we will link it to this location so it can go it knows where it should send the rock and i will also need some we can also since this is pretty close i will not do that I can say just you know what just go directly in here with your copper that is fine and it'll just sort of prevent it from having anywhere else and that should be good enough that's uh, enough work here let's have a look if this is keeping up nope 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 it's absolutely not so let's build another of these quick deliver and then build a few more trucks or refinement and is this done now you got finally got that stuff that it's taking forever so get to the oil and deliver and then once it's out there we can start loading the next stuff for the repairs and is it working uh no here is another thing that isn't working i think if this is keeping up all the time then it's gonna get oh right these are there just pick it up if you like that's okay but that's basically the storage here. What I'm also going to do is, since we are adding much more vehicles, we are going to add more here. Three. Get more of this. And luckily, we are ready to build that. That's not going to be a problem. And I'm just going to go one up. And there. And uh, this is just something that will get done when it gets done. Great. That's done, and these are now, the reason why this is going up is because there will be some build command or some command that is waiting in line for a while. What we're also seeing, next important thing, this is almost out, so we need to start working on ship deliver to Ulrich. We need to work on an alternative, ah, not enough workers, damn it. How did that work? Uh, let's see, go to the map view. This is now starting to produce oil, so we need to assign a ship to there. Now, I'm going to upgrade the infrastructure on this one because that will give us some good ideas. I can also do, go over there and do some battle, then come back and here uh, start loading the ship as well. It's an interesting and slightly annoying maybe that it can't do both at the same time. 13 workers needed. Okay, so what we do is we just stop some of the research because we don't really need much research. So that is fine. 
And we have all of these things now done. Uh, silica, the here. Oh, I need one more truck and then another one of these. They are working and they are coming over here. What I can also do in order to kind of make this go faster is we can start digging down, which is not super easy to get them to do what uh, what I want. I've been having a bit of a, a bit of a tough time getting it to work here. See, see, it will connect to that one if I if I have it. So still, as long as that one is there, there. That's what I was looking for. There. And that will be just a... Oh, here we go. Shooting. Should be fine. Crude resource is getting low. Yep. So why do you not shoot this gun first? There we go. And then shoot the other one. Good. Victory is assured. I got another cargo ship. And then I'm going to go home. And X here. Uh, let's see. How do I do this? I'm going to go here and then I'm going to go. Minus two. Let's try that. The good thing about when you dig down is that it doesn't take as much dirt and rock as sand and uh, whatever it is up here because then it gets down here where it's more pure. So that's, um, that should be good. And then we'll get going. We can also do the same thing for uh, this part. So it has less time, less distance to travel. And I'm going to do that here. Start by just deconstructing all of this part because it's already been mined out. And then go F for a pull down. And maybe something like this is a good place to start. And if there. Good. So that is not also done. We are going to uh, work on the oil research. This one is, it's full. That's, <laughs> that's good. We have now a cargo dock. So I'm going to make a cargo depot, which has to be established over here by the seashore. Seashore there. And then it will have, I'll have fluid modules here. One. Two. That means I am getting, this is for the cargo ship that we have one of, that we have already liberated one cargo ship. So we want to go here and then I want to make sure that they have a bit of storage and a bit of storage. And do I want, nah, I don't want this. So this is going to be a bit more tricky because uh, once, once this one gets, or when does this one runs out, I have to immediately, urgently take this out and get this one in production immediately. It's going to be a bit of a tricky thing, but I'm sure it can be done. And I could also have this one another route to that. It's pretty close, so let's just go over here as well. This is very low priority. Did I also get... I didn't even get to that one. Maybe I also want to put it here, since this is lower priority. This is like priority 4 and priority 4 because they are essentially power related. And... I am going to disable. Am I disabling this? Yeah, let's disable it so we get. Oh, you need to repair and you also need to get some of this required materials. That's not coming in. So, right now we are at a point where let's uh, just make sure that we get a few more things coming in here. Uh, we have how many trucks do we have? We have like 925. That is just the way it is. It's. Um, it'll. It'll pretty easily get down once we, uh, we move a bit further. And these ones, why? what are you up to? You are unable to do that, unable to do that. Why are you unable? There you go. We just have enough steel. That's just, it's as simple as that. Enough steel. This one is just going back and forth and has already filled out this little area. Great. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wait a bit until we have some more things crafted. And then uh, what we can do is start working on the oil refinery. So we get the oil inbound and get that under control. All right. We have our oil deposit here. This uh, works and oh, what a perfect timing. So the oil ship is coming in here, unloading. It has two chambers and that will be unloaded here. Hopefully, hopefully. And it says truck export is off, but we can actually get it from here. We can see that it is gradually getting in here. It just takes a while to unload. I don't know why it's actually even, but that doesn't matter. We have this now. 
and uh, we are going to get more fuel into this train into this one and i'll just do this because i want it to be able to do all of it and we should also have uh everything built you can see this is down to 60 seconds we have no labs available why do we not have any labs available well i have updated this one but that's because we don't have enough fuel here or enough uh yeah enough thing oh there's a fight um enough population so now we have enough population we can start the research again let's nuke this and then go back to the base what we've done is we just upgraded this settlement i'll just kill that one all right kill that one what are you doing there wow that that was a lot more beating okay we got 14 pop that's great and where were we we were here here we also have this one which is super interesting but it's very expensive we can start repairs on that as well and then you go home go home good right and as we have more population we can then start these again and we have potentially problems over here we can now use steel for doing that look at how much more effective that is it's kind of interesting to do that what now that we have steel we can actually start doing the next thing i think right uh yeah we have this construction we don't have the assembly electric which i do really need or what so what i'm gonna do is actually something i should have done like long ago is that it's i should build have built this one here this one oh wow well copper is a problem what is the problem with copper what are you what are you up to copper is not good here here what are you up to this one is not being emptied uh why not maybe because you don't know where you're supposed to empty it to and uh, then we can actually go assign one of these right now so right as we do that, it comes in. That is actually something that we need to be a bit mindful of because if we've now set up all of these things to be mining location or setting a mine, mine control tower, then it will only work with the stuff that's linked to it. Now in this case, it this is uh, having a dedicated assigned truck. I don't think I need it because it is already working again. Good. So we get copper back online. We have a problem because we don't have copper. Uh, but the good thing about it is that it's easier for us to take this one out and deal with that. And that's done. We have our oops, our ship coming back. I love that there's just a nice rhythm to it. I can get the sawmill or yeah, we're going to get the sawmill first. Let's get that. And also the ship is needs heavy repairs for sure. Uh, population is good what i want to build was uh yeah this one we need to make something better for this and i'm going to do one two three uh, 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 uh three and then another one two three that one and here as well one two three and then I am going to take this one. Like that. Yes. This is being deconstructed. This is being deconstructed. Sweet. And you know what? I also need to deconstruct this. Ooh, why is this not working? Uh, it's important that we have something here. Ooh, did I just waste a lot for the sawmill thing? Yes, I did. Uh, the sawmill thing is... Yeah, you just took 200. Ooh, that's kind of a lot. Okay, all resources are loaded. And this has full fuel. Okay, so let's go out to the sawmill and fix that. And that unfortunately is kind of constraining what we can do here. I will start by removing this. And instead build a filter like we did for the other one. It's going to be kind of, at least at this point, this is going to be how I'm building building this. That one goes in here, and then it goes in here. And let's open this, and I will be speeding this one up so that we make sure that we build stuff. Now, why is this not working? Ah, because of the damn copper that I... Copper, build copper here, and get it full. And you will now go from here, and then just go straight in. 
that's working. So hopefully we'll get some copper into this location. First thing for the copper is, of course, making sure that we have enough coming into the storage here, the maintenance, so we don't run our maintenance. And you can see maintenance is priority eight. So this one will only get in there when it's priority nine. So we are slightly behind. We're going to do parts number three for this. Oh, we can also upgrade that. Sweet, actually. And I will then do pretty much exactly the same as what we've done for the previous one here. Oh, go in, go to exactly this location and then go. Yeah, and then. And that, nope, it's going to be here. And I will deprioritize it and then I will, whoops, nope, not yet, I guess, no workers. And then that's again, oh, it's Thomas working. Can I explore some more? Yes, I can. Uh, but over here on the map, we can also go here and get some more population. There's no point in, in building this one until it's actually, uh, or, goodness. All right, okay, pause, pause, there we go. These are paused. What do we have? Uh, this is not getting anything, this is not getting anything, this is not getting anything. That is because we are in acute lack of copper. Why are we in a, still in acute lack of copper? This one is getting copper, yes. And what about the rest of the copper? As long as it's working, then I can't really complain too much. Of course, it would be nice to have it bigger, but I don't think that's gonna be super necessary. I think it's definitely a matter of this being sort of stuck, and that was the reason for it to not work for a while. Sawmill has been upgraded, that is excellent. And over here we have this line. How much fuel do we have left? We have pretty much no fuel left. So what I want to do is I want to get started on this. And I want to get started by making it maybe down here. Yeah, that sounds like a good place. That one and I'll do this. And I'll do, oh, okay, more fighting. All right, we should be fine for this. I don't know. I, I I I like the idea, but this is kind of this feels so. So I'm just gonna hack something together, and then we'll we'll fix it later. That's kind of how it feels, and maybe that's how it is. Then we're gonna go home with whatever we liberated. Here, 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 and there. That's obviously you're gonna go like, oh, but you can't go through it. Yes, I know, but I can. Oh, not do that. Oops. So I can, I'm going to have to do a different one here. This will be coal and this will be full and it's going to be happy and it's going to be priority. What? Five maybe. And this one will just be mm, deleted then. And delete. Delete. Oops. Delete. And we'll just get real quick remove it. I need these two to be built there. I want this to make sure that we get it built. And here. And that's done. Basically what I want is just move this to here. Oh, that also means that I will be... How does that work? How does that actually work now? I'll disconnect that. But here I will connect it to here. Do I? But I could also do... Something like this or something. I, that's not probably not a good idea. I don't know. I don't really know how to empty this one in the most efficient manner. Well, we'll just we'll just empty it. And these ones are here so that I can. Are they coming in? No, they're not. They're not actually picking this up. Hmm. Prior to do get that one first. Okay. So my point here is that what I want to do is make a vehicle ramp so that they can go over and go over and deliver some fuel for this one but that's not happening all right we're getting some stuff here all right is the ship coming back ship is coming back i always said repair i will also set, set it to fix the cargo ship and what we are now doing is pretty much what we uh, want to do i want to be ready for this one when it's it's running out it's so close to running out i can't really quite see how close it is but i can't even see how much is reserve stages ah okay 
there's 3,000 left. Okay, that's not much. That is pretty severe. That's really nice. Can I also see that here? No. Can't see reserve status. Okay, but that's good. What about for this, for these? Mines? Oh, there's another thing here. Uh, this is looking like it has enough, but it water is not enough. Because if we look at it, uh, I'm consuming 38 per month. That is way too much. So what I need to do is I need to remove this and build a separate line of this. Uh, I'm just going to quick remove it. I love the fact that I have so much unity that I can always just quick remove everything here, here, and the same with quick build. It is super convenient to have this. And this is also why I think it's worth it getting the electricity and the power in here, because then you just keep building up unity. Let's uh, use more unity, for example, to go here and no, oh, I can't even get more of that yet. What about you? Could you be upgraded? Yeah, you could be upgraded for 80 infrastructure. Probably good idea. And are you repaired? You are not repaired yet. You are not. You are not repaired. And all of this is good. What I want to do is these two. All right. Copper is working. Are they working? Yes, they are. All right. This is now going to be the first one that gets upgraded when that is happening. So you go in here and you go in here and that gets us just exactly how many workers we need. You are going to ah steal. We, the whole point of this episode is we want to get something that uses steel. And the only thing we have that uses steel is actually the assemblers. So we can build, get the building construction materials. And once we have the building construction materials, that's the one we got. I want to want to then we can use it for upgrading these elect electric to Mark three and we can upgrade these ones as well to well, not yet, but We'll get that and I thought we could actually get that maintenance next level maintenance. Could I? No, not yet. All right. Well, this is still good. I can upgrade it if I need to, but we have enough materials. And why is this not working? Ah, there it is again. There it is again. That also needs to go over to this location. Thank you very much. And I might even at this point assign a couple of trucks to dedicate it to it because now we have killed all of our iron production. It is down to 80. That's not good. Killed our iron production. And these can now also be taken out because I don't want to dedicate something to go over here when I don't need it. All of this is full of iron, just waiting to go into these as they are needed. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So we need more trucks going in here. That should be important. Let's get that. Let's see. Shouldn't someone come in here? Yes, there's one. And there's another one. So as soon as they start working, then hopefully these, yeah, these are starting to work again as we fill out this area. So once you start working with these logistics networks, it gets a bit more complicated, but you also get a lot more control of what you want to do with, with all your builds. And I really love that idea. So it's super cool. And uh, these are almost done. All right. I think, oh, what a, what a miserable weather this is. Uh, you're not getting the iron. Of course, you're not getting the iron. Uh, I'll start loading for the settlement instead. Okay, so at this point, I don't. I think that what we just want to do is just want to wait until we have some of this production going, and then we can sort of see that, yay, we have steel, and we are actually using the steel for something, along with seeing that our new, more advanced logistics network is working. All right, so we're back a bit uh, later and uh, we've just been sort of looking around on the factory, just uh, just fixing a few things here and there, making this one ready so we can jump over here. And uh, we're not really consuming much oil, so this is still hasn't run out, but the idea is that we have a balancer here. I will simply take this one and just feed it into here and into that one, and the other one will go onwards and feed into this pipe. So we'll just let this one uh, complete and uh, that will be something. What I have done here is I've sped this up to the point where I'm actually not able to get enough wood coming in here, but that's okay. That's a, it's gotta be something that runs out. And over on this side, we have like the production here. It's not gonna be a massive production because we still have like to fill up this. So half of it goes in here. Uh, this is not working quite yet, but again, like wood is slowing down, but we do have a bit. So we have enough to get a few of these up and running. So which ones would be like the most advantageous to get up? I think we want to update this one and upgrade that one so that we can at least say we have this, uh, this built. Great. Let's uh, see that this gets built and these will be like much faster. So right now it's 12 plus six gives six per second or per minute. So let's uh, get that mm, quick deliver. 
and quick deliver since we have the resources why not and this up here is uh it's a massive problem but it's not really a problem it's uh it just means that something is uh is waiting for a long time but uh, we still have a lot of, of commands this was a problem here and uh, we'll just see the other one when we get back of course i was trying to put out 18 plus 18 plus 18 plus 18 and who knows what that is 50 uh, no 72 so we put 72 out on the belt that can handle 60 so that's no good so i built it into two belts and got it in here we do have a bit of an issue on keeping this one filled so there is a point of just making it a direct line here uh, with a belt and then yeah, that's definitely an option for us to do that uh, but that's uh, at least it's going and we can always just top up uh, with a few more trucks here and there to uh, let's get a few more here so that they uh they will get in and i don't want to bother with the deliveries let's just get it in here so we get more iron all of this is good so the iron is great and uh, we have all the things we need and this has now been updated so this is now double it twice as fast that's really nice to have it twice as fast here and then we can start working on the next ones this one will just wait until it gets up to 20 and then we can uh, scale it up again Again, here, wood is getting to be a problem. How many do we have assigned to wood? We have a total of... Hmm, owned, assigned, I don't know. How do I... I thought I could see that. Mining operations assigned, assigned to wood. Uh, I don't know. Maybe we'll take one uh, random one here. One of these that gets... For example, this one. Once it's done, there. And then I'll assign it to wood chopping. Because why not? And that will be something. So what is the next going next problems going to be? Well, we've unlocked a few things. What we definitely want to do is get better research here. And don't know why we don't have that. Oh, right. That's because we are not. We need the thermal desalination so we can use salt water and desalinate that and rely less on our groundwater. We can then get into research lab three. Once we have that, we can then unlock sort of the next tier. So this is going to be the, the part here. Can I see what it's cost? Nope, not at all. And then we get into sort of like vehicle management, salt production, electrolysis, more more and better power. That's going to be super nice if you can get the low pressure turbines as well. More a uh, ship bridge, which is interesting as well. Wood alternative. I don't understand a single thing about this if I have household goods. I mean, I understand that I'd have uh, wood. Ah, look at that. So this is actually replacing the wood constraint into... So it's going to be con iron, steel, and concrete slabs goes into construction parts instead of using wood because you'd probably expect at this point to be running out of wood. And then we make a wooden rocking chair out of glass and steel. That's that's interesting, but a very modern. And then we have interesting things such as larger trucks and larger excavators. Those are interesting. And housing three, also going to be interesting as well. Glass making, making looks interesting as well with lots and lots of glass. Oh, there we go. This is a model house variants of doing household goods we don't know what household goods are for i guess we'll find out oh right that's probably for housing three this probably requires uh probably some household goods to keep them happy maybe and then also some better farms that would be nice as well so lots and lots of things but you know i don't think we're gonna get all the way through but uh hey let me know what you uh, what you want to see and uh, then we'll uh, we'll try to put that into a future a future episode so thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed it be sure to hit the like button and of course if you're new to the channel consider subscribing so you can keep up with all the cool things that's going on here on the channel until next time take care and stay effective